Wyoming rest area, about 100 miles down the road from where I was at the Welcome Center. Me and the truckers tonight. I choose to come over here because of the view. Look at it. Look at this view. Woo yeah, next to the truckers. That's one way to feel safe. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Going to stay here one night and then head another, I don't know, 100 miles down the road to another rest area, creeping my way to meet up with Jolene. Hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Enjoying the Prairie Dog Show. At least that's what I think they are. Too cute. Are those prairie dogs? And what's he thinking? Hey buddy. What you thinking? You sure are cute. Where's your friends? I know there's a bunch of you scattering around. You don't have much to say today? You be a good listener because I always have lots to say. It's my prairie dog friends. <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't seen these guys in years. There was three here a minute ago. Hey buddy. Like a statue. Too cute. Where'd your buddies go? Here at a Wyoming rest area. Working my way, working my way to friends. There's the babies. There's the babies. Hi. You guys are just too cute. been a hot day and a hot evening. I'm way across the way there. I wanted to check this out and see if I would just come park in this circle. But uh, I don't know. 
It says no overnight camping, but as I've mentioned before, that sometimes that's a skewed word. That could mean camping, but overnight rest, yes, fine. So I've had no problems in Wyoming. The Welcome Center and the place last night. Always a beautiful sight. The sun going down. Sun going up, sun going down. Right out my side window to enjoy for a few. This AM, I moved over to one of these little picnic areas. I should have done this yesterday if I had been thinking. And lo and behold, my friend is here. He's already having breakfast. Okay, it's a first. Wonder how close I can get. He's busy. Oh, down into the hole. <laughs> Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Another hot one. Gonna head on down the road. Momentarily. Gonna have some coffee first here in my little private picnic spot. I did a little research on this land I'm looking at over here with all of this shrubbery. Oh my gosh. All the different grasses. And the classic plant community on Wyoming BLM land is sagebrush steppe, which occurs in both Wyoming Basin and the Northwest Great Plains. They may look mountainous or barren from the road, but they are actually comprised of an extremely diverse mixture of shrubs, grasses and herbaceous flowering plants, each highly adapted to harsh dry climates. Woo, look at this. I don't know that I've ever come this up close and personal. Certainly have seen this from the road, yeah. And on the mountainside, right? And the most common shrub in this ecosystem is the coarse sagebrush. Uh, and it's known for its, its aromatic silvery green leaves. I don't know that that's this stuff. <laughs> oh, there's over 20 species of wildflowers on display late spring through midsummer. Cool. Isn't it beautiful? I especially love the green, the really green. There you have it. Some morning, afternoon, or evening sagebrush trivia. I wonder if snakes live in here. <laughs> they didn't say thinking this is the coarse sagebrush. I was just looking further out where it looks different, but maybe it isn't different. No, it's a different, yeah, There's it's interspersed. Yeah, this is silvery green, right? I should get that app that you can take a picture and it'll immediately tell you what, what you're looking at. And for your reading pleasure, Mama Sage. Seems endless, the sage, the rolling sage covered Wyoming hills. It's a major winter food for pronghorn antelope, sage grouse. Wow. It's pause and read. All right, I need the app. Maybe this is the silvery green. <laughs> 
Oh, I walked over here to take a picture with the rocks. How pretty. Maybe you all know these different grasses. Put in the comments if you do and what they are. We can be all learners, learners and teachers. A little bit more from a distance. It's like, there's like many different species right here. And there's all my, my little groundhog or prairie dog friends. They look so small. My daughter and I think we stopped at an actual prairie dog farm where you could, uh, it was in South Dakota when we were crossing the country. That was back in 2006. So yeah, like 15 years ago. And they were much bigger. So I don't know, are these, are these prairie dogs? <sighs> or am I way off here now? Whatever they are, they sure are cute. Putting on a show, putting on a show. Now that I've had my fill of prairie dogs for the moment, they're so cute. I sure hope they're prairie dogs. I don't know for a fact. I thought prairie dogs were much bigger, as I already said. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little busy work here. In the mornings, I like to just uh, take my time and mosey because I want to drive during the hot part of the day. I have a grocery stop and a love stop today before meeting up with Jolene later this afternoon, hopefully. Coffee. This is my cute little bag. I got this in uh, North Carolina, I think, at a, a antique and vintage store. This is Clinique. So I guess you would call that vintage. But I have all my markers in here. Daughter got me these. And I have a doodle book. When I first uh, took off. I think this was a Christmas present. Can't remember. Anyways, how cute is that? I love it. I love the colors. And I'm also uh, playing with words to come up with a name for my cabin. <gasps> to be revealed later. And I've got postcards to write. Now I'm in Wyoming. I'm a little bit behind here. I don't know why. I bought these um, with intentions of sending them, but it seems like I don't want to send too many all in a row, and now I'm behind. So that's how that goes. This is breakfast. I've been carrying this around for a couple weeks now. Fruit and oats. I've never had that. You know how I like new and different. And good old standby Lara bar. I'll probably just do the fruit now, maybe this later. And I also have a show to put together. This is my notes and clips for the title and description, which I hope you read, because I do put some effort into letting you know a little bit about what the show is about before you watch it. There he goes. They're all over the place. All right, that is the plan for the moment. Gonna head on down the road, only have about 137 miles to go today. And I will be at my destination for, I'm guessing anywhere from three to five days um, until the antsy gypsy soul blood starts uh, percolating and I need to get on down the road. He came to visit me. <laughs> I just pulled my uh, cushion out that I sit on driver's seat here. Wow. Talk about being smart, huh? Woo! Blessings in your day and joy in the journey. So very pretty. Evening in Wyoming. Simplicity for your mind. 
serenity for your soul.